Today, I want to talk a little bit more about Docker for data science for this ML project. I mean, who really cares? Do we need it? Here's my short case as for yes, or here's an, what I hope is an illustrative example. So what you're looking at here inside of this, this kind of example ML project is I've got a REST API. So we want to do inferencing. We've got this model, just like a ship. It's not meant for the harbor. We need to serve predictions. One way to do that would be to set up an API. And I've done this here with a tool called Fast API, which is great. So on my local machine now, I can specify, hey, at local host, at port, whatever, serve predictions. Useful for testing and for seeing if it works, but not useful for giving access to other people. Now, there are a bunch of ways of deploying APIs, especially with all the really cool tools that exist in the various clouds. So AWS, Azure, GCP, they'll say, hey, give us some code. We'll give you serverless functions, blah, blah, blah. Lots of great options. I don't mean to minimize that. But if I take the extra step of saying, and it is an extra step of taking my application and putting it into a Docker file, and I'm not saying I've done this in a very particularly clean or, or, or best practice way, but I've taken the app, I've put it inside the Docker file. What this then lets me do, it makes it much easier or it provides a more standardized way for me to do deployments. So let's go over to the web here. I'm in AWS. Again, there's a bunch of ways we could deploy our app on AWS, but with a Docker container, I can use a service like ECS, the Elastic Container Service, I just basically passed it my Docker image. I said, hey, I've got this Docker image. It's got my app in it. It lives over here. Run this thing. It's running it. And now I can serve predictions here on this public API. And then if, if I need to use GCP or Azure or something else, there's a bunch of different ways of deploying containers that are standardized. We can run these on VMs. We have lots of options. Where I'm going to go with this, we'll see later, is adding it into a GitHub action, into a CICD workflow, where every time we run some sort of model training or we do some sort of integration, run some tests, version our model, build a Docker image, push that to one of these services and deploy it. We can really easily track lineage. We can roll back. Um, and again, it will simplify our workflow if we're beginning with the end in mind of I want to deploy something. I want something that, I, that, I ha that I'm following good software engineering practice.